you ever wonder how a turbo works? Stay tuned for the very first episode of Tech Talk and I'll show you how. I would like to welcome everyone to the very first episode of Tech Talk. My one goal for this series is to simplify and explain anything you guys want to know about cars in less than five minutes. Basically how this series is going to work is every single Tech Talk video that I upload, I want you guys to comment down below the next topic for the next Tech Talk. Today's episode is going to be going over something that we all know, we all love, and that is turbos. <laughs> Turbos can be broken down into two sides. There is the hot side and there is the cold side. On the hot side, there is an exhaust in and there is an exhaust out. The exhaust in will either be by the exhaust manifold or exhaust manifold to an up pipe, then the up pipe to the turbo. Then the exhaust out will just be a down pipe, for example, like a Subaru. Also, what is integrated on the exhaust side is going to be the wastegate, which could be internal or external. And on the cool side, there will be a fresh air inlet and a compressed air outlet. And that compressed air outlet goes through an intercooler. There will be a blow off valve or a bypass valve integrated somewhere. Then it will go into the throttle body, then to the engine. Plain and simple, turbos use exhaust gas, AKA heat energy, to spin the turbine on the hot side of the turbo. The more exhaust gas, the more heat energy, the more boost you get. Also, I will be sprinkling in a couple tech tips and a couple key features that I think are cool or exciting throughout these episodes. And the very first one is, the closer the turbo is to the exhaust valves, the more efficient the turbo will be. Because you are closer to the exhaust valves, the more heat energy the turbo can utilize. Plain and simple, boost needs to have a limit. That's where a wastegate is integrated. A super simplistic explanation of a wastegate is the wastegate will open at a desired PSI which for newer cars will be controlled by a computer of some sort and that computer will be able to read the pressure or the vacuum that the engine is creating. Basically wastegates are set at certain PSI levels to open and when they open the turbo cannot create any more boost. So for example I think Subarus are set at around 12 PSI so once the turbo creates about 12 PSI boost the wastegate will open and the turbo will not be able to create any more boost. And another tech tip is the wastegate is an area where a tuner can go in and manipulate where the wastegate will open, therefore you can be able to create more boost and they'll basically set that threshold at instead of 12 PSI will open, they'll set it at like 17 PSI it will open, so therefore you get more boost but obviously the more boost you have, the less reliable your engine will be because it will be going through more stress created by the more boost. So now that we know what's going on on the hot side, what's going on on the cold side? So as the compressor wheel is being spun from the exhaust gas on the hot side, that same compressor wheel is spinning on the cold side. There's fresh air being forced in through the intake, in through the turbo inlet, and into the turbo. That fresh air is then compressed from that spinning turbine, then shot out through the intercooler, cooled down by the intercooler, then direct it into the engine. All the intercooler does, it basically just has one job and that is to cool down the intake charge before it enters the engine. Now, because you have more air being forced into the engine, you need to be able to compensate that with more fuel. You got more air, you got more fuel, you got more power. That's how it works. Now, another thing that is integrated on the cool side of the turbo is the blow off valve or bypass valve, depending on what you have. Now, the second that you let your foot off the throttle, the throttle plate will close and that pressurized air created by the turbo needs to go somewhere. If your car is equipped with a blow off valve, that sound that you hear is just the compressed air escaping into the atmosphere. Now, if your car is equipped with a bypass valve, that pressurized air, once the throttle plate is closed, then gets redirected through a little tube that goes directly to the inlet before the turbo and gets reused on the next round. And the cycle is ever continuing. Boom, there you go. That's how a turbo works. If you guys enjoyed the very first episode of Tech Talk, make sure you comment down below and tell me that you did. Or if I went too fast, you can go ahead and tell me to slow down and explain more. That was just the plain and simple explanation of how a turbo works, what's integrated into a turbo system, and I hope you guys learned something. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, comment down below and tell me that you did, and if you'd like to learn something else about cars, like a supercharger, how camshafts work, literally anything, 
I'll be sure to make a video on it. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.